What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. What if I told you guys that it was possible that you can get a 5 star piece of gear as soon as level 20 or AR 20? Would you be interested in that? Probably, right? <laughs> so in today's video guys, we're going to talk about how to get a 5 star artifact, you know, low level, of course, your very first one. It will take a lot of time, alright, so it's definitely not easy to get. We're also going to talk about all the other ways to get 5 star artifacts before your time. What I mean by before your time is if you guys are familiar with the adventure rank in the game, um, five star artifacts don't drop consistently from flower bosses or cubes until adventure rank 40. And even then, it's not really consistent, but they do drop. In terms of getting the five star artifacts before that, if you are lucky, you can get a five star artifact from confronting Storm Terror or going up against the wolf boss as early as 30. So, adventure rank 30 and above, you guys can potentially get a five star artifact although the chance is much better at 35. I got a lot of questions as to why am I waiting till 35 to fight the wolf boss and Devalin it's just because I wanted the best chance possible because I knew it would be quite a while before I got to adventure rank 40 um, but I wanted to give myself the best chance before reset which is going to happen here in a couple days to get myself a five star artifact. So now let's talk about how to get yourselves a five star artifact. Um, so the big thing here is when you guys are here in Kuji Slope, Kujre. I, I, I don't even look. I don't even know. Gucci Slope. All right, we're just gonna call it that. All right. So when you guys are here, uh, you guys will notice that these pillars. Uh, they, they, these won't be lit up for you, but these pillars take stones of remembrance to activate. And after you activate all nine of them, what will happen is you guys will run down, you guys will jump down to the pillar, it'll unlock this door down here. You guys go down there, you guys fight a very interesting boss fight, by the way. And after you fight this boss, uh, you can literally get yourself a five-star artifact. So I did this when I was adventuring 19, I think, and I dinged 20, like right before I fought the boss. Um, I do think that this boss does scale with your world rank, so maybe the lower you do it, the easier it'll be. I don't know. <laughs> so if you could do it at world rank zero, it might be a lot easier than when I hit world rank one. Uh, this guy was very challenging. I don't want to spoil the whole area for you guys, but you guys can definitely check that out on your own. Now, the way to do this, for those of you guys who've been paying attention to the interactive map or have already been out here looking for your Geoculus, um, make sure that you guys go throughout Liyue, which is the southern region here. Uh, for, the, for reference here, Mondstadt's up here. You guys can run all the way down here. Make sure you guys collect all the Geoculus. After you collect all of them, all 131 of them, well, really, you only, you only need to collect 130 because one of them is just extra. You guys will go to your statues of the seven anywhere here, and you guys will upgrade your statue to level 10. Once you upgrade your statue to level 10, you'll have all the Stones of Remembrance. Just go to the field, activate all the pillars, and wha-bam, fight the boss. And if you win, you will get a 5-star artifact. That's your first one. Again, you guys can do this one anytime. So anytime you guys want to just take the however many hours it's going to take you guys to get the uh, Oculus, just go ahead and knock it out. Another way that you guys can get 5-star artifacts, I'd just like to draw your attention to this book here. Um, if you guys are following your chapter book, this is pretty much a no-brainer here. But as you guys go through, you know, after chapter 7, you guys will get, you know, purple artifacts or whatever. And then once you get to chapter 8, uh, chapter 8 starts to yield 5-star artifacts. All you have to do is enhance 8 men 4-star artifacts to level 16. So if you guys want to start working on this ahead of time, uh, you guys can definitely knock this out. So that way, as soon as you get to chapter 8, you can go ahead and feel free to collect your free Gladiator's Longing piece. Not only that, when you happen to end up finishing chapter 8, even though this is going to take some time because you got to send a weapon to phase 5, yeah, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time. It's level 40, by the way. You guys can get this artifact here. But again, I'd, I'd rather you guys focus more on this one because you guys, this one doesn't require you to be level 40. This is something that you can just kind of get into this area here as soon as you get into chapter 8, um, which will only involve, uh, you know, wh whatever you had done previously, which includes also getting your statue to level 9 and some other stuff that you can do that's pretty accessible here. All right. So. Again, just rush to chapter 8 here for this one, and you guys can get this 5-star artifact ASAP. The other way is going to be Abyss. Now, if you guys are doing Abyss, I just want to show you guys the rewards because you, you guys might have been uh, ignoring this out of fear of attempting Abyss. But this is literally one of the ways to get 5-star gear. So if you guys happen to have looked at this here for the chamber, you guys will see that they drop purple boxes here. And these boxes actually give you artifacts. So you can get 4-star artifacts here as well, plus 5-star artifacts. But you guys are like, but D, I'm not getting all the way to floor 9. But at the same time, you don't even have to. Because if you look at the reward preview, the 5-star artifacts start dropping as low as chamber 3 and floor 6. 
the four star artifacts you can get much much earlier so if you guys are looking to get into some four star artifacts getting here should be a priority that you have so the first five star artifact that you guys can get you can absolutely completely control and if you guys have been following um you know my other guides where i talk about team composition and early play um you know how to really set up your teams getting into abyss will be a lot easier than you think and crushing these floors should be a lot easier than you think i'll be talking about in another video the beginner steps to really getting into abyss and maximizing your results and some easier ways to get around this and how to navigate abyss so you guys can get into this five star gear as soon as possible so if you guys are tired of running around the world and trying to look for chess all day uh, structuring your team and focusing on your team and maximizing your damage output and your team efficacy or efficiency could be what you guys should be looking at right now so you guys can get into abyss and start getting yourself some five star gear Outside of that though guys, the rest of it is really just getting to Adventure Rank 40 as soon as you can and then as soon as you get to Adventure Rank 40, then of course 5 star gear will start, start dropping consistently from uh, just the normal bosses in the world. So again the cubes and of course the flower bosses. You can also attempt, again if you get very very lucky on Devalin or Storm Terror they can drop as early as 30, being as I've never seen a 5 star artifact drop any time earlier than that. If you guys have, you guys can feel free to comment in the comment box, but the earliest I've seen a 5 star artifact drop from Devalin uh, and or the Wolf um, is literally at uh, Adventure Rank 30 or above. So if you're before AR30, make sure you guys go collect all your Oculus ASAP so you guys can get that free 5-star artifact and uh, maybe get a nice big boost to your stats. And then if you're not, if you guys are already like 30 plus and you guys have already did Valen, no luck, then it might be time to start looking at Abyss. So with that being said, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. And with that being said, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.